Now in this video, we are going to see how we are going to manage directories. So into our earlier videos, we have discussed all about the files. So let us begin with managing a directory now. Now very first command we have that is called as a cd. cd command is changed in a directory. Now if I want to change a directory from one directory to into the other directory, I can use the cd command either by defining the complete path of the directory where it is located or just by immediate directory we can move in by using the cd command. cd command itself can also be used if I directly want to move into my home directory. Now for example, I am using or getting login the user1 then user1 if they want to directly move into its home directory so that it can create a directory or a files and create or save any kind of content he can directly use just cd command without following any particular directory name or directory path. Same way if I want to create a directory of my own I can use the command called as mkdir mkdir following with the directory name. So automatically it will create a directory into the present location. Same way if I want to create a directory into a different path or different location I can go for mkdir space and the location where you want to create your directory. And the third option we have that is ls space hyphen la. So basically ls space hyphen la will show you all the hidden directories and the files which you have located into the present directory. Now if I want to check how many files I have created and what are the hidden files or directories we have into our present directory we can see over here by using ls space hyphen la. Got it. The next we are going to see is like how we are going to use this particular ls space hyphen a for looking out the hidden files which by default get created when you create a directory. And you will also see all the details of this particular directories as well. Like you can see the time of creation of this directory, you might have the permissions for this particular directories and the owner name and group name, everything what we generally we have into our existing file or directory. So basically this dot and double dot by default get created when you create a directory into the Linux operating system. What this dot and double dot means? Dot here contains the present directory means if I have created a directory named ABC. So this is the directory where I am. So this is my current directory. Now for example this ABC is created into my parent directory which is slash MNT. So this MNT is my parent directory where this is my immediate parent or immediate folder where I have located. So this particular directory is my parent directory. So it will show me the details and the permissions of my parent directory by using double dot means present directory and the other dot for my immediate working directory. So these are the two generally hidden folders we generally get into the directory when we create. So let us see how we generally use this directory, how we create a directory and how we can find these directories and their details. So here I am on desktop, I can give the command ls and you can see there is no directory created over here. Now if I want to create a directory I can give the command mkdir and into mkdir I can also define the name of the directory which I want to create. So I want to create a directory with name dir1 that is directory1. So you can see now directory has been created on the desktop along with that we can also see this directory into my terminal as well. Now directory has been created. Now if I want to create multiple directly at a time like if I want to create directory2, directory3, directory4 I can add it and you can see these directories are created. Same way if I want to create a directory or a file with a space within two words. Now for example I have a two word directory name IMP data but I want a space in between. So how I'll be doing is I'll need to define IMP and backslash and one space between the other word. So other word is data. So it will create a directory with name IMP space data. If you do not give this backslash and if you give more than one space it will treat both the word as two different directory. That's the reason just understand it you need to give a backslash and space after the first word right. So here we have created a directory with name IMP data. This is how generally we create a directory. Same way if I want to copy a directory I'll be giving the copy command using cp space hyphen r cp space hyphen r 
both before the directory. Generally, if I copy this or if I try copying it by using the same cp command which we have done earlier, so it will prompt me an error. It's showing you omitting directory. So if I want to copy a directory on same place or a different place, the concepts are completely different as we have used into the copying of file. So you can check it has been copied into some lame location with the different name called as folder one. Same way we can rename a particular directory. For example, I want to rename IMP data and I want to paste it. Same way while even renaming it, I can define in such a way and I want to rename it basic one. So you can check it has been renamed. Even we can check it graphically, right? So this is how generally we create of our, our directories as well as we have seen how we can copy a directory and how we can move a directory. Same way if I want to delete a directory, I'll be giving the command rm space hyphen r. Because if I give command rm in the directory name again, it will prompt me an error that this is a directory. So for deleting a directory, I'll be giving the command rm space hyphen r directory 1. So you can find directory 1 is deleted from here as well as we cannot find it in the terminal as well. Same way if I want to delete multiple directories, I can give the same command rm space hyphen r dir2 and dir3. It will be deleted. Got it. Now uh, here but we are not getting any confirmation uh, you know, prompt. But if suppose you have anything into a directory, for example, I'm moving into the basic one and I'm going to create some touch files here. So I'm adding three different uh, files, which are empty files, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And uh, now I'm trying to delete this directory basic one. I'll give the same command. It has been deleted. Right, so you can delete particular directory by using this rm commands directly. So either if you have a particular file into the directory, it will go for recursive data and will delete everything into the directory. Now, if suppose a same way if we have filled some file along with the content, for example, I am moving into the dir2. Okay, sorry, directory four is there. Directory two we have already deleted. I'm going to create a file cat file one, add something into the file, demo file for rm command. I'm going to hit enter, save the file, move out of the file, again on desktop, ls command, again we are on desktop and we are able to see the dir4. Again if I'm trying to delete this it has been deleted. So it doesn't matter which kind of directory and which kind of content you have. Recursive means it will delete everything whatever you have added into the directory. So this is how we have seen how we can manage the directories and um, also we can see like if suppose I am moving into the directory and what the content generally we do have. So into folder 1 if I give the command ls. So there is nothing as of now. But as discussed in the video that if I give command ls space hyphen nil or ls space hyphen al that is list all in details. So you can see there are two dots now this one and this one. This dot is the current directory which is your folder one and this two dot contains the permissions of your parent directory. The parent directory which you have that is your desktop. Got it? So this is the permission. You can check for the permission of your parent directory. It is read, write, execute, read and execute, read and execute here. And this contains read, write, execute, read, write, execute and read, write, execute. Let us check the desktop permission whether we have the same permission on it. So for that, I'll just step back from my folder and the parent folder that is desktop. Let us check about the desktop directory. LL or I'll just define LL command. So you can check for desktop. Now you have the same command which we have found over here. That means this double dot is nothing but 
it is showing you this is my parent directory which is having this particular permission and is created by this particular user along with this memory location number right and while the folder we have that is containing two and this has the permission what our folder has so this is our current directory permission and this is the permission of your parent directory so always your current directory will show who is its parent so that it gets the complete path of the file or directory where it is stored so this is what we have seen about managing the directory in the next video we are going to explore more linux operating systems